Dr. Fauci, Matthew McConaughey coming to you from a bathroom. Why am I coming to you from a bathroom? There's going to be a couple of reasons. One, I like to look at myself in the mirror every now and then. Just checking in. How you doing, Maddie? I'm good. Good? All right. Still living. Yeah. Number two, I was laying in the other couch, <clears throat> laying in the other room on my couch, playing with my sword. Bladder got full. Body was telling me I need to come in here, hold the old shepherd's crook, pointing in the toilet. Pew, pew. Do a little one of these. Could you imagine, Dr. Fauci, if we allowed the human race to listen to their bodies to allow us to know what we were supposed to do? You'd be out of a job, pickled little man. Another reason I have the lights off in here, Dr. Fauci, is it reminds me of a sterile, cold, freaky doctor's office, that dehumanized place that you guys inhabit, where you don't really listen to us. You just spit back our symptoms in Latin and toss a bunch of drugs at us. Is that how your office runs, Dr. Fauci? Do you even have an office, Dr. Fauci? Are you a real Dr. Fauci? We know what Willie Gates ain't. Another thing is, I'm going to relieve myself on camera here because I want to make a point. It appears that the Canadian Health Minister or the Minister of Health or whatever the hell she is in Canada is suggesting that women stand up and pee like men to prevent backsplash from transmission of a virus that you guys have told everybody to freak out about when you created this pandemic. Dr. Fauci, a woman should pee like a man to prevent the spread of a virus. A virus that you guys can't test for and isolate using Cox prostates. You can't test for using the RCPR test, which has technically killed zero people. Dr. Fauci, let me tell you what. I ain't the sharpest tool in the hen house. But I do know, if a woman was meant to pee like a man, she'd be born with a penis. You know what I'm talking about, Dr. Fauci, little tally whacker. You know what that is, Dr. Fauci? Anatomy 101. It's called a penis. Women don't have one. And you ain't gonna get me to sit down on the toilet and pee like a woman because I don't like fondue. Dr. Fauci, there's a distinct difference between a man and a woman. A woman can grow and nourish and deliver naturally to this world a human being. A human being equipped with the blueprints to be able to heal and regenerate from anything that baby encounters for the rest of its life. I can't do that as a man. You know what I can do? I can snorkel. I can stand on the sidelines, sporting events, clap my hands. I can sit in parked cars. I can take my shirt off. One time I finished a Mad Libs all by myself. One of the greatest days of my life. Plural noun. Balls. Proper noun, steer horns. All right, Fauci, I'm going to relieve myself on camera. <sighs> because I want to prove something now. As we looking around, need to concentrate. As we focus on, ooh, ooh, I spilled a little bit. I had a little backsplash. I spilled it on my calf, ankle, shin, and thigh. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not worried about viruses. Hell, I might not even clean that up because I believe in musk. But I do know that viruses, bacteria, and fungi are all around us. And you don't catch viruses. They're part of something called the microbiome. They are part of the reason why we're here today. They're literally like life's tour guides. It's like having the best tour guide down at Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Could you imagine that, Dr. Fauci? You want to know how I know all this, Dr. Fauci? It's because I follow real doctors and real scientists, the ones you guys are censoring. Remember all that censoring and cleanup you guys are doing, shadow banning? Those are real doctors. The ones that work with the story of the patient. They ask the patient questions. They talk about their life. They talk about their beliefs. They talk about epigenetics, their purpose, their relationships, their sleep, and their meditation and prayer. They talk about whether they get outside or not, how they're nourishing themselves, where they get their food from, how much they're moving their bodies. Dr. Fauci, they know the source of disease and how to put that body into a position to heal themselves. And they know how to prevent it. These are the real doctors that I follow. Dr. Fauci, 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 Fauci? Let's go with it. I'm going to go with that instead. Dr. Fauci, when you start following these real doctors, you start seeing the world as a wonderful place. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. That was my Louis Armstrong, Dr. Fauci.
He's a whole lot tanner, but a whole lot cooler than me. What do you think? All right. Appears to me, too, as I'm sitting here looking in this camera, filming myself going to the bathroom, that old Zuckernuts and not Dr. Gates got busted with Facebook and Instagram spying on people and surveilling them illegally through their cameras. Now, all they're going to see on me is a pink rose dipped in caramel. But when you go ahead to go go, go check out Dr. Fauci and company, you're going to see nothing but a Vienna sausage party. Sorry about that, boys. All right. Dr. Fauci made my way over after emptying my bladder to my couch, where I sit here with my sword. I love sitting on my couch with my sword after I emptied my bladder, thinking with my thoughts. And I got to thinking, after pulling the human race, and coming up with all the topics and all the questions we could ask of you this week, today's question is, how is it possible that we can't go to church, we can't go to movies, we can't go to funerals, sporting events, Schools can't be put back in a, in a session in a regular way, but we can. I can sit in a flying metal tube, a metal cylinder with recirculated air, sitting shoulder to shoulder with a perfect stranger for four to five hours like I'm in a can of sardines. Actually, check that. Sardines too healthy. For this scenario, let's use, uh, let's use packages of commercially farmed factory hot dogs. If I'm sitting like a cocktail wiener in a, in a hot dog package next to a total stranger with nothing over my mouth and nose, but an ineffective, submissively disempowering muzzle, forcing the wearer into a level of obedience to be followed shortly by more unconstitutional restrictions and bullshit laws from your fantasy league team of crack squad TV docs and TV scientists. Nothing over our mouths protecting us from this so-called virus that you guys have made up, but a piece of underwear. Which ain't all that bad, depending on whose underwear it is. You know what I mean? All right. If it's old Penelope Cruz underwear, we're talking birthday cake. And that ain't all that bad. Mm -hmm. If it's the cast of uh, Dallas Buyers Club, now we're talking about barbecue-flavored Fritos. That just ain't good. Dr. Fauci, we demand the science... We demand the proof that we can sit in an airplane next to a total stranger for four to five hours and not be afraid of some virus with a piece of underwear over my mouth, but I can't go to, my kids can't go to schools. I can't attend a funeral more than five, six people. We can't go to church, Dr. Fauci. Church. Something to think about, because we coming for you, Dr. Fauci. All right. Is that why you boys wear white coats? Claim is coming off all holy. You want us to look up to you as holy figures, flowing white robes? Hell, tell you what, you boys stop lying to us, stop poisoning us, stop being the third leading cause of death, and we'll start to respect you a little more. How about that? That makes sense to you? Come and tell you what, what you've been doing up until now hasn't made any kind of sense at all. It's like a bunch of toddlers running the public health program. And to be totally honest, I won't even do that to toddlers. Toddlers too pure, too connected than you boys. Dr. Fauci, your approach makes as much sense as common core education, virtual learning, G5, GMO foods, contact tracing, cashless society, sanitizing hands, the shot you boys are cooking up that you think you're going to make mandatory. Your efforts make less sense than the movies Memento, Mulholland Drive, and the end of Interstellar. You can remember those movies. Those are easier to figure out than the bullshit you pulling now. Dr. Fauci, your TV doctors and TV scientists, the human race starting to think that you boys are full of excrement. Didn't know I knew that word, did you? Well, here's the thing. You remember back on old March 13th when you pulled out the whole flatten the curb bullshit and got everybody freaked out and everyone went and bought up all this TP? You wanna know what I bought? Dictionary TP. So every time I sit on the can, I learn a new word. That was his latest word. Dr. Fauci, all we're seeing is a bunch of yellows and reds, and we want to see a bunch of greens. We want to head to the honey hole. I call that heaven on earth. Dr. Fauci, there's a chemtrail of darkness hovering over us, us right now, and all we want is a beam of sunshine, a golden shower from above, from the gods above. All we need you to do is to get out of the way. All right. Till next time, Dr. Fauci. Mm -hmm.